Thank you so much, John Surratt. We're going to be waking up with a little bit more cloud cover this morning. And as we head into the afternoon, an approaching cold front will be giving us the chance for some scattered thunderstorms. Looking out over Berks Garden, you can see we are fairly cloudy. Not seeing a whole lot of fog in the Berks Garden area, but we do have some visibility issues in some spots of our region, mainly along that western half. Looking over towards parts of Pineville in Wyoming County, we're about three quarters of a mile visibility with some patchy fog also detected earlier down in the Whitfield area. So make sure to use a little bit of caution. Looking at these temperatures right now, we're starting things out in the mid and upper 60s with 65 degrees in Tazewell, 67 in Bluefield, Princeton, Beckley and Fayetteville. Lewisburg coming in at 64 with Grundy, 71 degrees taking the cake there. If we look at the temperatures yesterday at Bluefield, we didn't quite make it up to 90, but we did hit 88 degrees at 4 and 6 p.m. And then we saw those temperatures drop drastically by about 15 degrees between 8 and 9. That's due to sunset and thunderstorms moving through the area at the time. So far this morning, we've held on to those upper 60 temperatures. As we head into tomorrow, we're going to be seeing a cold front settle in some cooler air from up north. That's going to be giving us temperatures below average for the first time in a while as we're looking to be mid and possibly even low 70s for the coming days. Some much needed cooler air, but also going to be bringing with it some rain. Satellite radar right now across the two Virginias mainly dry, though we do have some clouds moving in from the northwest. We could see some low hanging drizzle over the next several hours as we get closer to lunchtime. But after that, we're going to start to get a little unsettled. This cold front will begin pushing through arriving sometime around 9 p.m. And as it does, it looks to bring with it some thunderstorms out ahead of it, some of which may be on the severe side. After this cold front exits our region, though, it's going to stall out and slow down toward south and east. That's going to be giving us a quite a bit of cloud cover for the weekend and some occasional rain shower activity as well. Much needed thanks to how dry we are. If we look at the winds today, it might be a little gusty at times coming from the west upwards of 25, maybe 30 mile per hour wind gusts. And then heading into Thursday, we'll see a shift in that wind direction, that cooler northerly wind is going to be giving us those temperatures in the mid and uh, low 70s. As we get a look at the severe weather risk for today, along with that cold front, we also have the chance for some severe weather. Main threats look to be damaging winds and heavy rainfall, which could result in some flooding issues. Let's break down the timing on that with the future cast. Sometime around lunch might see some pop up showers and storms around uh, lunchtime to three o'clock. And then into the evening, or after about 7 or 8, this is when we're going to start to see these thunderstorms moving through. It's going to be uh, kind of a loud night as we look to see some lightning with these storms. Of course, heavy rainfall is a concern, so watch for localized flooding issues. Stay weather aware. Overnight tonight, we may hold on to a stray shower or a storm, and it'll continue on into parts of Thursday morning. But after lunchtime on Thursday, we're trending a little drier. Might see a good bit of sunshine for Thursday afternoon as those temperatures linger uh, lower than average. If we look at the extended forecast, the weekend still staying on a wet note. Saturday in particular looks to be one of the rainier days we're looking at. Temperature is going to be staying cool through the weekend and even into next week as we look at mid and upper 70s.